Welcome to K6 Outdoors, my name's Kyle, and today we have a little product review to do. The folks at K-Wheats sent me this 360 laser level, uh, green light laser level, for me to review for you guys and to use on the channel. So I thought this would be a good time to do a little unboxing, show you guys what they sent, what all comes in this kit, and we'll do a little bit of product demonstration and just kind of get some general feels on what this thing's all about. I've got several projects coming up this year that I'd like to use this on. Either I'm going to be buying or building a yard shed, and I'm going to be using this to help set the grade for the pad, whether I'm doing concrete or gravel. And then I'm also remodeling part of my basement. Well, not necessarily remodeling, but finishing the remainder of it to add a bedroom, um, kind of a storage area. And I do have a couple other things I'd like to do, I don't know, a fireplace outside, but we'll see where we get to. Weather only stays so nice here in Iowa, and I don't want to be outside doing this when it's 105 in the middle of summer. It'd be a little exaggerated there. So let's go ahead and open this up. This is the K Wheats KT360A kit. Um, nice box that comes in here. We'll open it up and see what's inside. So the actual laser itself and its accessories come in this fabric case. Really nice cushioned fabric case with a carry handle on it. Um, obviously adjustable. So that's pretty nice. It comes with the user manual as expected. It comes with the actual laser level. So I can show you guys inside here how this is kind of laid out. Really nice. So we go ahead and pull out the actual laser level itself. This is the k Wheats again, KT360A, um, self-leveling laser level with replaceable um, lithium-ion batteries. In this kit also, it comes with the universal magnetic mount. So you can screw this into uh, whatever you're trying to use there. If you want to use it to attach, attach to your tripod or pole stand, whatever you're doing, it has magnets on here so you can stick it to whatever. This is stainless, so it's not going to stick to it. Um, but you'll just attach to the bottom here, thread it on like so. You have it on there, so you can just thread it up tight if you're wanting to use it. So that's that. It comes with a spare battery. Um, with a USB-C, and it actually has a battery meter in here, so it tells you how much battery you have. Um, I'll show you here in a minute a little bit more about that. So the extra battery comes with the actual charging um, adapter, and then the USB-C style cable. Again, you can use any other USB-C, but this is what they su supply with it, and this is a um, five volt output charger. So it's a, you know, a, a relatively decent sized charger there. And then it comes with the target. So, you know, if you want to use this for better visibility inside, helps you for marking walls and such. So if you want to measure down from something or, or whatever, right? So you have a little target here to help you add to your bag of tricks. So that's what's inside. Again, it's this nice foam case that's been cut out. Just keep in mind, this is a class two laser and can damage your eyes. So don't look directly in the beam. Usually your eyelids can react fast enough to not cause a damage. But if you're concerned, wear glasses, just don't look in the beam. On this side, you're going to see there here, I'll get you a little closer so you can see. Your mode planes here is this front button on your, well, your left, my right. You click it once, it's going to turn on just this beam, front beam, that's what they call this. You click it again, it's going to turn on the side beam. So you're going to see we're getting a line here, and you click it one more time, it turns on all three. You're going to see we've got the lines here on the table, and we have the one coming out the side. You get the plumb line up on the ceiling. And you know, all the walls behind you, on the wall behind you here. So you have really bright, crisp green lines. We're gonna go ahead and turn those off for now um, because we're gonna do a little bit more demonstration here later. I'm gonna go down to the basement and show you on the walls. Um, if you click this button over here, it turns on the pulse. When you push that pulse button, it's gonna flash the laser so the laser will carry farther and you can pick it up easily, or at least more easily, when using things like this, which they sent. This is the actual laser line receiver. So this receiver helps pick up the line when you can't see it outside. When that button is on, that means the pulse is on and it changes the way the, uh, the light frequency is so this can pick it up easier at distance. Um, it's a super high frequency when it's not in pulse mode and makes it harder for the receivers to pick it up. So that's why you need to have that set up. In here you're gonna find the receiver itself, the mounts and the batteries. So, and we'll cover this, how, the, how this receiver works a little bit more in detail when we're working outside. But the k Wheat green, green Beam Laser Line Receiver, you gotta make sure when you're buying these, you buy one that's compatible with your equipment and you have to use red receivers with red lines and green with green receivers, vice versa. You can use the DeWalt ones with this, whatever you wanna do. Pretty easy to open up the back and put batteries in it. It comes with the batteries you need and 
Um, so that's a plus there. I don't know how long they're going to last. I'm sure it says here in the in manual. Let's take the part the batteries and install them inside here. And it looks like it's got a nice waterproof seal on the back to keep water out of its compartment. Again, on the back, it's got a little screw to mount it on here for the actual uh, mount. If you're using a grating level or grating stick, which I have one on its way, and we will look at it in a little more detail when it shows up. But anyways, again, this is the K-Wheats line laser, line laser receiver. Man, that's a little bit of a tongue twister. In the box, again, that's what comes in here, and this little, this little instruction manual. Um, we'll go a little bit more in detail on how to use this when we get into some of those projects. But the biggest pieces you want to look at here is it does have a front um, LED screen. It's got a top level, so you can kind of make sure you're not getting too far off uh, kilter there when you're working. The uh, sensor here for the laser, and you're going to have different... Um, I guess, beam sensitivities and volumes that you're going to have. But the nice thing about this one too, which like the DeWalt one doesn't have, is it's got a little window in the back. So depending on where you're looking at in the stick, you can see what's happening on these um, indicators and then the actual laser receptacle window here on the front, like I talked about. It does say it'll run about 20 hours on a bat set of batteries. We'll see how well that works out. And it shuts off after about 10 minutes of not being in use. So just to kind of show you what this will do, I'm going to turn, turn this back on quick and have the horizontal line out here. But say you're at distance, well, again, you need to use the pulse feature for using this. Um, you'll have this on, and you will be going up and down to find it. You'll hear it get, when it gets close. It beeps fast. And when you hit the line, you're on. So you're outside doing something, and you're like, well, where am I at? You're trying to find your grade. You're getting close. Oh, you're right on there. So that's cool. Now again, on the front side, on the back side, if you're working, you don't know what's going on, you have the sensor over here. It's got little arrows in the back as well that shows you, so you guys can see there, little arrows if you're on or you do up or down. So, pretty cool. We'll cover this in more detail later, but you can adjust the volume, the beam sensitivity, and a lot of fun stuff on here. And um, this is gonna be super handy for doing any outside grading. So, this is gonna be pretty cool. So that's really just about the gist of this thing. We're gonna go ahead and shut it off here. Um, and then we're gonna take this inside and do a little bit of trial in the basement. See how accurate this really is. Um, we gotta test it out with a level on the wall. Um, and then I'm just gonna kind of show you a little bit more in detail on how this is gonna work for us. Um, again, we're gonna be using this in the future on some other projects. But um, I guess my initial impressions are on this thing, I should show you here too. When you turn it on, it does give you a uh, battery life indicator on the side, which is also very nice. And um, you, again, you can see there, when you get it tilted, it blinks, so it tells you it's not level. So you can get close to where you need to be, because it self-levels within this range. So if you're anywhere close to that range, it's gonna be self-leveling. If you get too far out, it beeps and tells you it's not level. So pretty sweet little setup. There are some links down below. Remember, this is uh, a sponsored video, video by Kweeds. They did provide you guys some discount codes down below and some other links you can look at. Um, in many ways, you can purchase this. I'll also put Amazon affiliate links below to where I, you can pick this up as well. Um, you can get this thing from anywhere between $180 to $200, depending upon when it's on sale. And then this little guy here is around $80. So you're looking at shy of $300 this entire setup. And I, again, I can't express to you how well this thing seems built. It is IP54 water and dust proof. Um, but be smart about what you're doing. Don't submerge it in water. And um, try to keep it out of the direct sunlight. That's just best on anything that's electronic so it doesn't get too hot and overworked. Um, but it is what it is. If you have to be outside using the sun, just make sure you're cognizant of what's happening and things may overheat a little bit. But I don't know, it just says keep it out of direct sunlight. Also, that also helps with the light emission. So it's not screwing with your results when you are outside, you know, using this. So just some things to keep in mind. With one light on, it says it will run 70 hours on a charge. With two lights on, it will run 40 hours on a charge. Or with all three on, it says 25 hours. So again, depends how much you need to use. The, the batteries are gonna last a pretty long time overall. This has a working range of 30 meters, a 30 meter diameter. So that's, that's quite nice. I'll put the conversion to feet here in the middle for those of you who care. The biggest things I probably wanna point out is that the self-leveling accuracy is plus or minus four degrees, and it takes about three seconds to auto-level itself. But let's go ahead and head inside and try this thing out a little bit more and see how well it does work. Well, we've made our way down to the basement. All right, so I've got this set up on my tripod. If you guys are curious exactly what tripod this is, I'll put a link down in the description below as well for an Amazon link. If you wanna use it, it's fine. I find it to be really handy. It comes with other pull extensions and such, so you can go clear to the ceiling. But again, we're not, we're not going to go on that right now. So, so again, this is a self-leveling laser. 
This is a plus or minus four degree range for self-leveling. So once we've got it here on the tripod, we've got it fairly close. We'll go ahead and just turn it on. It's gonna turn on the laser here and it's gonna level itself to the room. You'll see how easily you can see it. This is a pretty brightly lit basement in this section we're in. You can see the nice green light all along the wall. When we click the last button, it changes the orientation of the laser. You can see maybe there's one that's splitting right here in the middle of the screen that you can kind of see there. Um, that is the um, front one. And then also we have the side one, which you see turns on here as well. And if you click it again, it turns on the front and, that, and the uh, front and the top one. If we click it again, it turns on all three. So you've got all three lasers. So let's take a little bit of a look at this and a little uh, better view. We'll rotate this here. You'll probably see down here on the left, there's a pile of wood. Why that's important is because we're going to be finishing out the rest of this basement down here, at least part of this, adding a bedroom in this section over here. But again, we've got the three different lasers here. You can see how bright they are. Let me go ahead and turn the light off real quick so you can see what it looks like when it's dark. So when it's completely dark, how bright the laser lines are across the ceiling there. So we have the lights back on in the room here. And keep in mind, like I said before, this is a class two laser, so it's bad on your eyes. So don't be looking at the laser beam. Um, wear glasses to protect yourself if you feel like you need to. Um, but I believe like you have a 0.25 second exposure time. Usually your eyelids are enough to, ref to uh, react to that, but you don't want to damage your eyes. So this pays special close attention to that. Um, so let's go ahead and look at a couple other features here on the laser. I don't have my four foot ha level handy, but we can kind of get an idea from our bubble gravity level here using a two foot where we're really at. And you're gonna see it's, you can see on the left side here, got lined up on that laser, it is right on. So it is accurate. And the same thing here on the vertical line, we get up on here and check it out. It looks like we are right on. So it is accurate, as you would expect. So that's good. Self-leveling laser. Who would have thought? Anyway, that is how easy it is to use this laser, at least turning it on. It turns on the lights. You can choose which plane you want to use and uh, kind of go from there. Can't express to you enough how, I guess, much of a value this is. You know, half, half the cost of the competition. And then, to be bluntly honest, it seems like it's going to work just as good as the competition. Um, obviously you're, you may lose some of the premium features that they may try to advertise, but i tell you right now, this is, um, you know, seems to work really well, but you don't have to use this in the auto leveling format. You can lock it into a plane. All you have to do is shut this back off. Like you talked about earlier, you press and hold this left button and it will turn on, I guess the plane you want to use or the, which axis you want to use. It's going to blink every five seconds. It says it does have to save power. Um, but you also can select other sides or other, you know, front or side laser beams if you so choose to use those. Why this is important is say, you know, obviously you don't always want a straight line. Maybe you want to put something at a 45 degree angle or maybe you're doing a railing or something. So obviously there's going to be various ways you can set this up. And I put it at an angle I know I wanted it at. I could do that. And you have that angle locked, angle locked into place. Again, there's all sorts of ways of how you could maintain the angle. I'm just kind of showing you there with the tripod, how you could set it up, but it's gonna stay on that angle. It's not gonna be self-leveling and you'll have that option to do that with this laser, which is pretty handy in my opinion. So we have that there, right? Thanks for stopping in today, everybody. I really do appreciate it. If you're interested in the 360 green line laser level, three axis, side, front, top, take a look at this brand. I think you'll be thoroughly impressed by how well it is built and how well it does work for the money. Yes, there are other competitors out there that cost twice or three times as much, but for $200 for this and another 80 bucks for this, so 300 bucks for this entire setup, you're gonna be setting pretty good for some time to come. And with that three year warranty, it gives you a little bit of a peace of mind that you don't have to worry about it. And I will tell you this much so far, working with the people at K-Weeds, they've been very good to, to work with and very responsive to questions. And um, again, if you want to buy one of these, Use one of those links below. One's a discount code for you guys to use. I think you guys will be pretty impressed with how well this, this does work out, and I think it'll be a good tool to add to your toolbox. For your, if you're like me, and I may not be using this every day, um, I mean, I can't, I can't give you a direct comparison to a DeWalt or a Bosch to tell you, is this gonna last just as long as a DeWalt or Bosch? 
I honestly can't say that, but I can tell you how it's built. It seems like it's going to last quite a long time. For someone like myself who's not going to be using it every day, I can guarantee you as the, uh, that it's going to last me quite a long time. And then I'm not going to have any, any huge issues with it unless I'm dropping off top of buildings, running over the tractor, or doing something I shouldn't be. So if you guys liked today's video, give me a thumbs up. That's the best thing you do to help me out. If you made it this far in the video, you must really like something I'm doing, or you're just desperate to listen to me talk. And I would appreciate if you hit that subscribe button. And if you hit that little bell next to it and make it turn gray, you'll get notifications when I post more videos like this. If you guys like outdoor content, tractors, projects, or product reviews that may be relevant to the projects, I'd encourage you guys to, to stay along here on the channel and check it out. Because again, my goal is to learn some of this stuff the hard way so you don't have to. And really so you can make more educated decisions on your purchases for yourself, your business, your family, or whoever it may be. Thanks again for stopping in. My name's Kyle. The weather's getting nicer, so stick around for more projects, and I'll catch you in the next one. We'll see ya.